Hi someone who are appearing for this upcoming FMG exam in July 2024. Are you someone who are yet to crack the strategy to clear this exam in 60 days? Are you someone who are stuck at your preparation? Are you someone who believes smart way is key to success? Then this video is for you. Hello guys, I'm Dr. Alekia Telukpali, your orthopedic faculty at PW Medic. And today we are going to discuss those tips and tricks to clear this exam in 60 days. So guys, I always imagine clearing these exams or reading medicine is like an ocean. And we always need that clear route map or a guide to reach our destination. And I also feel that these exams are like visas or the entry gate passes to upgrade our careers. So each visa guidelines are different for different countries. So similarly, each exam is different in its own way. So for example, let us decode the guidelines for the FMG. As you all know, this is a qualifying exam where you need to crack 150 questions right out of 300 questions. And not to forget, we have 19 subjects from where the 300 questions are asked. And these 300 questions have been divided into clinical and paraclinical branches where 200 mark weightage is given for clinical subjects which include the minor subjects as well and 100 marks weightage is given to the paraclinical subjects. Right? So now let us discuss the strategy of clearing this exam by reading all the 19 subjects. Yes, you heard it right. Reading all the 19 subjects is the first important smart move to clear this exam. Why? Because the integration is the key. So nowadays, the shift of the examiner's mindset is towards integration rather than one-liners. We are also going to adapt to this move and now we are going to read all the 19 subjects in this 60 days. So let us enter into the strategy. So now the strategy or the plan, it is similarly like the smart so now we are going to understand this S that is strategy. So we are going to plan first. Then the most important aspect is solving the MCQs. So M for MCQs, A for analysis. So you are going to analyze what you're going wrong, where you're going wrong, which concept you're weak in, why are your MCQs not going correct? And then you're going to revise. Fine. So strategize, memorize or do the MCQs, then analyze then you're going to revise and finally not forget the grand tests. So testing is very, very important. So after analysis, again, you have to appear for the grand test and then only you will know where you're standing and accordingly, you can again plan the strategy. Fine. So now let us see what is my strategy for you all. So now these 60 days I have divided into four phases. So phase one is a thorough reading of 19 subjects where one month that is 30 days is allotted to you. And now you're going to plan accordingly which subjects you are weak in, which subjects are your strength. And based upon that, you're going to complete all the 19 subjects in one month. That is phase one. Not to forget, you're going to solve 100 MCQs each day. Fine. So 100 MCQs each day, completing all the 19 subjects. And here there is a small trick. You're going to give two important notebooks. That is one book is called the rapid revision book. The second book is called the MCQ book. So in this first rapid revision book, you're going to write all the important notes which you want to read second or third time. So that is called the RR book and the second book is called the MCQ book. In this book, you're going to write only the wrong answers, only the wrong questions which you have done it wrong in a right way. That is your MCQ book. So you're going to write only the questions which you have done wrong. Right? That is called your MCQ book. And this in this MCQ book, you can also include all the tables, all the facts like which should be revised few days before the exam. So now by the end of the one month, you're ready with all the MCQs that is 30 into 100, 3000 MCQs. And then you're ready with your short notes that is RR book. And then you're ready with your MCQ book. Fine, but that is not the end. There is four Sundays, right? So there is one more hack here. So you're going to write the grand test on every Sunday. So every Sunday, you're going to give the grand test. Preferably, the timing should match to the timing of your real exam time, right? So every Sunday, you're going to give GT and all the mistakes, whatever you have done in your GT should be entered into your MCQ book. 
fine so now this is your phase one we are done and then moving on to phase two and three both are similar where you're going to revise the subjects second time third time in two phases 15 days each 15 days each not to forget giving 100 mcqs daily not to forget your gd on every sunday so that by the end of two months Fine, you are ready with 100 days MCQ daily, that is 60 into 100, 6,000 MCQs with 8 GTs fine and finally we are left with the phase 4 which is very very important we are left with those beautiful days before the exam so in these days like whatever days are left for maybe 4 or 5 days here in this 4 or 5 days what you are going to read is only that MCQ book which we got ready for this week right so that mcq book those tables and those you're going to add even the images so image clinical images and not to forget the instruments so all these four to be revised just before the exam days like just one week before the exam and final day nothing to be read you're going to just chill chill with yourself so mental peace you're going to attain mental peace that day you're going to eat well all these days especially on the final day you're going to sleep well on all these days because you're already ready with the plan so final day also you're going to sleep really well and then you're going to hydrate yourself well so drink well drink means only drinking your water h2 okay not the ethyl alcohol okay and then finally finally your affirmation so before going to bed you're going to tell universe that you are prepared you have given your best and you are ready for the exam you're going to get 200 marks this time in this exam right so this is the strategy i have created especially for the fmg students and now for this you're going to give four promises to me the first promise you have to make to yourself and to me is that you're going to be consistent what may be the situations you're going to be consistent next is perseverance you're going to do it with utmost conviction because you've already wasted a lot of time those two these two months are crucial for you and you're going to do it for me or for yourself and then the last one is do or die dreams or excuses you're going to choose only one either you're going to choose your dream of attaining the fmg exam or you're going to leave it with excuses fine so these are the three promises you're going to make yourself and the fourth promise is not to skip a day not to change your plan sticking to your plan is main motto of this strategy hope this works for you see you on the other side and I'm, i would be really happy to listen from you and uh, if you're really in need of any material any resources you want any notes regarding anything you feel you are free to ask us at any time we are available for you at pwmedit or everybody has their own instagram channels you can dm us directly for any queries thank you and all the very best